Limbo Singh, the story of a World War II hero. Born in 1909, Limbo Singh was educated in Raffles Institution and went on to further his studies in the University of Hong Kong. When his father died, he returned to Singapore to take over the family business. Lim became a successful businessman and showed vast concern for the welfare of his people by serving in several trade and social organizations. February 1942. Singapore was about to fall to the Japanese. Chung Leong, the Japanese are closing into Singapore. They must leave for a while. Please take good care of the children. I love all of you. Mr. Lim, we are planning a major counter-offensive against the Japanese in Malaya. We would like you to be in our guerrilla team. Force 136. It is my honour and privilege to be part of this force. Look forward to the day that we have enough information to drive the Japanese out. Do then, please continue working hard. However, a triple agent, Lai Teng, tipped the Japanese off about Force 136 members in Malaya and Singapore. Mr. Lin, Mr. Lin, we must leave immediately. The Japanese are closing in on us. Then you must leave at once. It'd be better to wait till next morning. You're under arrest. I'm innocent. Let me go. Get up. Let me go! Ugh. 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 We want names, location, everything! I must not say anything. If I do, Force 136 will fall, and Singapore will never be free of the Japanese. My wife, my children. We'll live under the rule of the cruel Japanese. Never! Ah. Never! I won't give Singapore to the Japanese even if I die! Being stubborn, eh? On the night of 29th June 1944, Limbo Singh died after much suffering due to torture and dysentery. His body was buried in an unmarked grave behind the prison. He died so that Singapore and Malaya would once again be free to enjoy peace, prosperity and happiness. In memory of the great war hero, a grateful nation built the Limbo Singh Memorial in Esplanade Park.